Good afternoon, chaps. Chap S's, it's Mark, M0VST. We have a little update for you on the loop. I'm nearly, nearly there. Look at this. All this bit's all finished. I've got to just fit something on top of that. This is the joiner. This is how it ended up working out. This bit's nearly done, except if I had to move the um, dial to there to adjust the capacitor. Feed's going to come from there. Let me show you the back up here. Yeah, it worked out really well. So you can see the capacitor. It all works uh, smooth. And it's, the reduction drive is just enough to make it so you can fine tune stuff. So yeah, it worked. It worked out. You have got no idea how close it was to getting pulled to bits quite a few times though. Quite a, quite a lot of challenge where, challenging events where I couldn't join the rod onto it because it was inside the pipe. So I had to join it on first and then feed it through. Hence I had to have a join in the middle. Um, yeah, I didn't end up with bearings in the end because they were eight pound each plus vat. So I've used rubber grommets and it has exactly the same effect. It doesn't rattle or anything like that. Um, yeah, right, let's get up in here and I'll show you what happens. Stand by. So I've got a, just a normal normal um, camera tripod and that's the excess 20mm pipe sticking on the top there. I'm just going to clip on the uh, clip on the loop and you'll see what happens. What do you reckon then chaps? I think that looks alright. For the prototype, see I'll just turn this dial up here. You can see the, uh, the capacitor rotating up there. So yeah, the idea of that was, I can explain that when it's unmeshed, you're going to get the lowest value you're going to get, which for this one is about 50 PF, I'm, I, I'm guesstimating, I haven't got a meter that measures it, that's working today. And when it's fully meshed, then it should be, then it's about 500, I'd say, PF. But I'll, uh, I'll, I think I'll put some stuff on here, some information about that on there as well. But, right, yeah, let's hook it up then. I'm, I can, I can tell that you want to hear what, what it sounds like. I've got the 817 here. Stand by. Because I haven't finished the feed point yet, we're just going to crocodile clip it on. But you'll see that still works fine for now. Listen, listen to what I, uh, what I heard last night. Listen to this. Join the Flying Coast from Pacific Beach with more stories and sports from across the Pacific. <laughs> Retained the ashes after play was abandoned on the final day of the third test of our cupboard. Grandstand Jim McCarthy. Australia, Eddie. That was pretty good, wasn't it? That was Radio Australia. Radio Australia. It was about 11 o'clock at night, I think, or something like that, when I heard that. Anyway, let's plug it in. You'll be excited, I think. It's good. Right, we'll start off where I didn't think it was even going to cover. I didn't build this loop for anything to do with 40 metres, but because I changed the capacitor, uh, I chose uh, I chose one that was I think between 20 and 300 I think for the first time for the first one that little double gang thing you saw but um, I didn't think that the uh, the spacing enough was going to be big enough to handle the power that was going to handle the volts so I couldn't didn't want any fancy any flashovers so I changed it straight away so anyway look we're on 40 meters yeah I'll turn the volume up listen for the peak so I turn the dial oh there we are look. So yeah, For, uh, 40 metres, how bizarre, check this out, right onwards to uh, 30 metres. Which way are we going to have to go? Oh, there we are, there's a quite a big one there. Let's 
the uh, noise reduction stopping that. Yeah, you can see we're peaked. Right, 20 meters. What I intend to do is, I'm going to calibrate this. I'll be drawing little lines on here, so as this rotates, basically it will say what band it's on. But I haven't finished this piece yet. But just to get you guys going, I've been a few days without an update. So I'd, uh, I thought I'd let you know that I have actually, I am still doing it. And yeah, a couple of times I actually nearly thought about taking it to bits and quitting. But I'm so glad I didn't. It turned out really, really well. The build quality is good. Um, yeah, just sort of really was lucky really. It just went together as my thoughts come into my head sort of thing. It wasn't any fixed design. The outer loop was, and obviously the inner loop, you're governed by that, but I didn't, the, I, as you can see by the video, yeah, look at this picture. Yeah, that's how many capacitors I had that was out. And look at this picture. That's how many 101s that I bought the other day and uh, hence that's where that reduction drive came from and these came from and and the capacitor came from actually it came from an FT 101 so hmm right breakfast time I'm gonna finish this I'm gonna finish this and then we're done I'm very very pleased with it thanks very much for you guys for supporting me and following me through the adventure it was uh, I think just you guys last night that strove me on to uh, actually get it done and not to just quit you know what I mean I nearly nearly whopped it over the top of that fence there last night I was so fed up with it but yeah I'm really glad it didn't it really worked right time for a nice cup of tea and uh, I'll I'll fill you in guys when I'm when it's all finished when it's all done you'll get the next update and uh, I'll do a review of it my pros and cons what I liked and what I didn't like about it building it etc and then the next video after that we'll do some video of uh, operating it and uh, some some contacts which I look forward to. Right, guys, thanks very much for watching. I hope it's as sunny as where you are as it is here. Seven three from sunny Norfolk M zero VST.